Would you care to make a public comment? Gentlemen? Any over 
which was um, in the area of consulting and accounting, which was a rather small variant. But as you know, we didn't have um, an accountant. We had Duke, who was a volunteer, who was able to do all of our finances for us. So, um, so we had to have that built in. As well as the consultant, we had, we had that little man financial services, who's our uh, assessment engineer, do a little extra work for us this year. So that's where you see the issue. Uh, and then, um, you'll see in the 2015 budget call on that sort of kind of work, the beginning will be our expenses um, this year. And when we jump in my head, we kind of went line by line and just uh, tried to decipher, you know, whether we were really close to our, management, our original management district plan percentages, because you don't want to deviate from the percent. And so, um, the only area we were somewhat low in was, was in the marketing platform. So we decided to bump up that um, with uh, back up to its original um, amount. So it's closer to $48,000 for um, the 2015 year. And that's 2.46% of our budget. So um, I can walk through each one of these budget items, but um, one thing that you should notice is down the bottom, contingency city fees reserved for not pay. Those are all the kind of static amounts that we probably would anticipate. They're 1.9%. This is always the city fee amount that we pay. Um, the contingency is uh, something that we always kind of um, put in there around that same amount every year. And then also delinquency is at 5%. That just accounts for the LUSD delinquencies and any other private delinquencies that we may anticipate getting next year. So um, I would love to field any questions that you all have relative to this and then um, adjust the time of it. Here is actually a couple of thousand dollars in the budget. Yeah, so um, <coughs> we, um, you know, uh, Steve and his team have been really good at keeping track of your invoices.
You know, on the mindful issue, yes, that was definitely, you know, that's really a way to ease the world. But with more people living here and, you know, walking, walking from the subway to their apartments or students, you know, at different schools, having a later presence might make sense. So that's... Yeah, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, yeah, if things change out here and we're going to have how many hundreds if not thousands of new residents here by that time? And with all that new construction, the revenue the bid substantially increases. There will be more revenue coming in for to new buildings for sure. What, what do you channel up to coming to more buildings? Everything's It's not as significant as you might expect because it's a smaller, it's a small buildings for food is the smallest variable. So, um, you know, the is just where we get the greatest amount of revenue. And that doesn't change. Right. Well, I think we have a lot of people. We will pull our 6200 at Camden. That's going to be done. 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 That's going to be done.
stay out in April, whatever the reason is, because if there's that additional security factor there, it's important. Yeah, but it's an example that we can in
just have the one line now. So if we can have whatever the system uh, will accommodate for it, it costs them that significantly. It accommodates as many as you want, it's just a matter of cost is what it comes down to. So that's, and it, even at that, it's not, it shouldn't be, frankly, it shouldn't be that much more substantial. Hardware well, space is cheap. Yeah, hardware space is cheap, exactly. It's the cameras, the environment. Yeah. 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 Don't make it. 
that the key really was though having the political will behind that with uh, Bloomberg to uh, actually get it through and, and, and create something you know, that I think is way better than what they had before. And well, yeah, one of the most impressive things that I heard was that the retail rent money in that area, by closing it off to travel, doubled. So by getting people out of their cars and getting them uh, walking, it uh, significantly increases the business for the folks that are in that area there. That's, uh, that's why I think this, the market component of this is going to be so important.
this is not a new thing that's been this has been done in other cities all over the country and all over the world. High density and no reduction of, uh, of traffic, creating a reduction of traffic, and it actually makes the operation of the city a lot more efficient. Um, it doesn't seem like it makes sense, but it actually really does work in educating people in that. Business improves, just the, the whole vitality of, the, of these areas improved dramatically by reducing traffic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we talked a little bit about
a nice spot. It fits all our vehicles, including even our sweeper. That was something I was really concerned about because you know, the sweeper is pretty large. So, um, yeah, so 5858. It's a building with a parking lot underneath. And so there are a lot of support for the vehicles. And because it's been a vacant building, we have a lot of problems with breaking in and vandalism. So just having our guys there 24 hours a day coming in and out of the vehicles will probably help to keep it safer. Where is it? 5858 Hollywood. So it's in the time of the market? Right across the street. Is that storage unit? No. no, so uh, there's, that's the gas station. So the yeah, gas station. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the yeah. so yeah. 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 I know, and the yeah. only reason that he gave it to us was because of Joe. Joe is the BFF. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
reinvention of the people in the Yeah. Um, something meaning to the Constructive Revolution <laughs> was what? Instead of reinventing the wheel and creating our own slogans, our own colors, our own, we could tag into the real change Hollywood uh, program. So there was a general interest in, in possibly not reinventing the wheel. And we um, talked about the concept of seeking sponsorships for these meters because they would be installed on private property, not on public property. It's a lot easier to do it with this negotiating with the city. But we have to have a fund set up to um, do meter maintenance and keep them clean if there was graffiti or etching or whatever. So we posed the concept of $2,500 per meter, which I think created a little bit of pause. Um, we may test that number. Uh, and so we brainstormed about, we have 12 meters that have been donated, um, so we brainstormed other places and built a bid where these meters could possibly go. But where I'm leaning right now is um, to possibly test this concept in four or five locations initially. Um, the folks at Trader Joe's and Wells Fargo are very interested. And so maybe we would put one there. Um, w Hotel is interested if we get approval from Metro, but we're not there in the plaza. Um, and then um, McDonald's, right. So test it in a couple of locations and you know, see what kind of, of interest is, is generated. The guy at Trader Joe's said he would be willing to actually promote it in the store, to have little things, you know, give it to people that here's a way you can build it positively, help people in this community by getting into this program. You know, Terry, maybe you can give people a website for asking that. Also, we looked at different logos that are being used on meters across the country, Boston and other places. And by far the Pasadena the collateral is just far and away the best. Mm -hmm. The website is really professionally done. This I real actually, change. The real change. Real change. Yeah. yeah. And it's beautiful and it really is very succinct about what it says. There's not a lot of, you know, when we do it in here or, you know. I mean it just says it right here and uh, you, can, you can look at it and it tells you what it is. Plus, the colors are good. And the whole thing was designed by the... Yeah, I was going to say, it's World Class, I mean, it's, it's Pasadena Art Center, which is a you know, World Class design school, you know, did the whole campaign. And it's like, it's really, it's really well done. You know? And it's, it's really fortunate that the Davis Scout came to partner with it because the traces are the PSAs in place and things that this program is becoming you known. Know, so it's not like, we have to start from the ground up here. It's also strange. Yes, it's also strange. Exactly. Which I think would be great. And something we've been looking to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 The 2500 is a seed, a seed money. I mean, these are donated, but how much does it cost to actually collect them securely and keep them up if there's damage and that sort of stuff? So there's all these different uh, kind of moving parts that we aren't sure about. The DOT collects the money? With it. With that. The DOT collects the money? No, um, that's, we didn't talk about that. Um, <laughs> we, that was, we had a list of things we still need to research. That was but it looks like the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce Community Foundation would be willing to be the 501c3 that would be the repository. And then the Hollywood Forward Coalition, we have a subcommittee that's working that's directing that's where the money would go. Um, and maybe any given quarter or six months would go to a different. Um, um, so we can do it as a bid? Is that what we As a bid? Well, it is, we're just facilitating this with Council District 13. What about the, um, that, and this is good time with it, but um, to have them connected in the bid and have something set up literally when people buy things, you know, to ask them the, the opportunity if they want to give to this as, you know, they, they ask us that when we go to the supermarket sometime, do you want to give a dollar for this or do you want to give uh, an extra dollar, you know, you know, paying with your credit card anyway. Yeah. Um, 
Is that, is that something that potentially could be tied into the uh, similar, the same market? Maybe. I mean, there is, on the website, you can, you can just make a direct contribution of any amount to any agency, or just... It's just, you know, when you're paying for your groceries, mm -hmm. okay, or you're, you're getting your cleaning, or whatever, and you're giving them the card anyway, and the person behind the cash register said, would you like to give a dollar today to this... That, it's like very difficult to say no. <laughs> and it's, you know, there's no extra cost for facilities or any kind of maintenance or anything. So, That's I don't know, it's just an idea to try to integrate that into the program. Yeah. And it's just part of the same thing. Right. It's pretty hard to take the individual businesses and suck the no. dollars by into their chips obligation. Yes. Well, they're doing it. They're doing it in yeah. some way. I don't know how long they've got. I think they've got to see it. It's a huge supply. I'm all paying it. I mean, that's the job. But it's, it's, you know, it's kind of a great thing. You can take it from here. You can take it from here. You can take it from here. And the thing with these registers is that they're self-contained. And there is a way to take the money out of them without opening the... Yeah, they do credit. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit... It might be some inexpensive software, though, that, that could work. I don't know. It's just worth, worth taking a look at that as a, as a possibility to include in the program, if, if it makes any sense. One other thing that I was thinking is that um, the amount of money collected would probably change uh, by season. So maybe collect the money for a year and then you get the yes.
applications from all the existing um, board members that had a uh, term expiring, in addition to um, six new uh, potential board members, and we only have three vacancies right now. So, um, one of them is from Adam Tartakovsky, from the Mike Lee Amon, um, who represents the facility in the listening room right now. Joyce Williams Maxwell, she's the Emerson College representative that um, helped us uh, secure the annual meeting location. It was just incredible um, uh, leader at the school. Uh, Christopher Golder, who's um, from Essex Property Trust. John Masachi, who's a uh, residential building on Leland Way. And then David Calabrese, who's from the So it is a great Do you want us to 
look around. Thank you. 